Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat. So, with a little bit of con crud from her con ventures. <laughs> so, um, I know there's no speed paint today. Uh, a lot of stuff is happening here personally at my house. But, um, thought I'd give you guys an update about the guy who owes me 3K. Well, he was at the con I was at for my con ventures. Well, three of the four. Uh, the first day, uh, he wasn't there, it, but his two uh, co-partner, whatever. We're going to call them the Double Mike Twins, because they're both named Mike. And, um, excuse me. Um, so, when I talked to him about it, they knew I was mad. And they knew that I needed my mon I wanted my money. And then, like, so I'm trying to find the right way to word this, because I'm just doing it off the top of the head. They knew I wanted money. They even talked about how unprofessional Devin has been and always been and, like, how he ignored the whole concept of doing a digital comic and a bunch of other stuff. And I, w I would like to thank my friends who have been supporting me throughout this whole adventure, especially when I have told them that I will be seeing Devin soon and, you know, yeah, it's been good. So Friday comes along and he's there. And I see him. First thing that comes out of his mouth goes, You haven't contacted me in a long time. I go, You haven't either. So, you know, already not on a good step. And then I am, I show him my portfolio. He doesn't even really look at it. He just goes, Swipe, 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 swipe. No real looking at it. No real studying it. No real anything. While the double bike twins, who yesterday they looked at my stuff, they really looked at it. There was some, there was some zooming and some examining and a lot of commentary. Just, just want to state. Um. And Devin was like, and I'm, like yesterday, I grabbed one of the books to make sure it wasn't any of the stuff because I, I thought that Devin was trying to sell work that I worked on and not even credit me or try to you know, give me money. Good news. It wasn't. Still annoying, though. And then Devin, on Friday, was all like, oh, yeah, we can't, we'll just be printing out, you know, he'll work on that. The fifth book will come out next year. And then, and he goes, what we'll do is give you a box of the comics, and you get to go out and sell them. First off, do I look like a fucking Girl Scout to you? I didn't say that to his face. I, I was thinking that, and I said that when he was not around. And everyone agrees with me. Second off. Uh, okay, listen. I was young, naive, and stupid when I took his, when he, I took his off job offer and should have said, yes, pay me. And not have to do the whole wait till I get comics and they sell and all that bullshit so yeah so like I stated he wanted me to basically sell and then my thanks to mom it was gonna be like oh next year on Friday you'll be at the table selling it and I'm sitting here going I don't want to do either of those options I just want my money and I want to not deal with Devin as much as I have to anymore and Oh, that was such a fun day, trying to talk to him about this and that, and then, and then, while I, uh, so, like, for the rest of the con, I would be avoiding Devin's table like the plague, unless Devin's not there, so I can complain to Mike, the double mics, and they both agree it was bullshit what he was doing, and they both agree that what he wants me to do is bullshit, and I... They said if we, they, those two, ever have projects and they need me for it, they will contact me themselves and not have Devin involved and cut out the middleman. Cut the tumor out! Cut the tumor out! Oh, he's a fucking pea brain tumor, I swear to Bob. Anyway, so Monday comes around. He tells me on Friday, oh, send me the uh, stuff that you lettered so I can figure out payment. Cha-ting! 
And I do the sending him low resolution versions of the things. And he's like, well, we got that one lettered. 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 That one we don't have lettered. We'll pay you for, I'll pay you for that one. And, oh, oh, the things he has said to me. So first off, first and foremost, um, Devin, when I tell him I want my payments, he's going, you're thinking about this in a financial sense. Please insert the we live in a capitalist society gift right here or whatever. Because, like, he does get annoyed. Like, where's your passion? I go, where's my money? You've drained it. <sighs> anyway, so he also was stating, well, your color, you, those pages I told you to, to color, those were for practice, not for work. And I go, oh, really, bitch? Because he told me to be sending these things to him on a deadline would insult me if I didn't actually finish the, if I didn't, wasn't working on it. He would go on to any post of mine where I am not at home and I'm actually like, okay, so grandma was in the hospital. This, this isn't the one where she had the stroke. This was one way before the stroke, uh, if I remember correctly, a wreck. Anyway, so we went to Olive Garden. Because, one, I wanted to do something nice with Grandma. And, two, I was already in the area because of therapy. And I posted a picture, you know. You know, the typical out with Grandma, blah, blah, blah. Take a picture of the food. Standard Instagram, Facebook, Twitter shit. And Devin comments on that going, Why aren't you at home working? Why aren't you doing my shit? And it got so annoying, a friend of mine, Pax, if you happen to be watching this, which I highly doubt, hi, got so annoyed that Pax started commenting, and then Pax private message me going, yeah, he's very unprofessional. I go, no, duh. And, like, so Devin was telling me these pages were for practice, not for profit. Still got to pay me for my time, buddy. Still got to pay me for that. And then he was going, well, I showed your coloring skills, which I'd like to point out. These are from two years ago. Two years. And he's like, I showed them to other colors here in Texas, and they all said, you're not worthy, ready for a comic. Basically, what he's doing is belittling me and telling me I'm not as worth as much as I'm actually charging. Which, that alone, Badcock Studios, Devin Richards, he's on Facebook. Just saying, most well-known comic, Las Locas. I'm not saying anything, but anyway. But, like, he's belittling me and kind of semi-bullying me to try to make me charge less for all the work I've been working on. And I know I'm worth more than that. Well, more like my friend Sam is telling me I'm worth more than that. Hi, Sam, if you're listening. And, like, my mom's pissed. I'm pissed. Everyone's pissed. Like. I just want my money. I sent him an invoice. He said he'll get me the money. And he's making snide comments about how I'm technically a freelance artist. Buddy, I have been freelance since you hired me. Because <laughs> I even asked, is it cool to show my portfolio off to others? And he goes, nah. Two seconds later. Yeah, sure, do it. Okay? He's okay with me showing off the thing. I'm freelance. He knew I was freelance. I... I'm freelance, super freelance, mega freelance. I'm a freelancer. I know there's a video game term which has freelancers and I can't remember which one it is. Oh yeah, I am Tex from Red vs. Blue. It's just, ah. I just wanna be like, get my money and get it over with so I can actually work with other clients. Which by the way, I have two potential clients that I got at Megacon, maybe even three, maybe. But I got two potential clients. Fuck you, Devin, for saying I'm not good. And fuck you for not treating me seriously. Anyway, I just... I'm never going to get my 3K. I am now at that acceptance of I'm never going to get my 3K unless major suing comes in. But sadly, I cannot find the shit. Because Devin is an evil SOB 
who does voice messages instead of who does uh, calls instead of having it all typed up. I'm guessing he's gone through some similar crap before because if I could find all the stuff and everything, ooh, ooh, I'd find a pro, I'd find a pro bono lawyer sooner or later. Ooh, so badly. But basically, from this lesson, I have learned how to deal with really annoying asshole clients. Which, I mean, I kind of had to deal with it anyway. Hello, I've worked on DeviantArt for so many years. And just... Oh! Ooh! Oof! Ah! Sorry. You just... I'm... I'm accepting I can't get my 3K. I am available for freelance work, by the way. I have already emailed both the potential clients, and hope one already said he'll put, keep me in mind for when he does his next book, so there's that. And I just, I'm tired. I just want to work on commissions, if I had any. I just, yeah, is a very good way to explain what I've been going through right now. And I'm going through some really, really fucked up personal crap right now, which is really upsetting. But I have to deal with that. Um, thank you for listening, by the way, and I hope you have a good day.